All right, we're gonna do it again. Yeah, start now. All right, so there have been quite a few people who have asked the question. Just connecting to this. All right, cool, cool. Does it work? Good. All right, so there have been quite a few people who have asked the question, what's the difference between the M820 and the M510? So we're gonna do the same climb test as to what we did before. Granted, there are some discrepancies. Obviously, this is the Vitus Emafique LT. So we're gonna bump it into the highest level of assist. Uh, the display is similar, but obviously on this one, it's called race mode on the CF50, it's called boost plus, but it's the same thing. Uh, Vitus is saying that the M510 has a peak output of 550 watts. So I'm curious as to seeing whether or not that, that is true. So we're gonna change it to the cadence. We're not gonna have the watts um, showing, but the watts should be hopefully showing on the, um, on the app, the Bafango. So uh, gearing is a bit different on this bike. So there's a 34 tooth chainring on this and the rear sprocket is a 11 to 40, it's either 46 or 48, but it's a 10 speed micro shift drivetrain, which I'll be honest, I'm not really familiar with, but you know, it's, I've, I've got it to shift adequately. You know, it ain't no Shimano, Dior or SLX, I'll gladly say that, but needless to say, let's see what happens. Hopefully you've got a good view. So, uh, you know what, just to be safe, I'll just tilt it down a bit just in case you can see the display a bit better. Um, all right, let's see what happens. No more dilly dallying. Pinnack, it is. It's doing the JOB, but it is slow, and obviously, the grip is not favorable <laughs> yeah i um the grip is not favorable i'll gladly say that all right all right okay scratch that test because i know that i'm gonna i'm gonna struggle yeah okay scratch that it was climbing but the rear tire does not have the grip which I should have predicted as well, actually. That is not the best tire. All right, we'll do this another day. All right, so I just briefly looked and glanced at the um, at the results there. Shockingly, the motor was kicking out more than 550. Like, you, you seen it yourselves, didn't you? The thing was achieving close to near 700, which is what I've always known the M510 is capable of. So I was like, why are Vitas declaring 550? It's, I don't know, like, I, I have not done anything to the motor like it is it is stock but you've you've just seen it there ladies and gentlemen it's kicking more than 550 so yeah okay all right that's that's verification to something which i've known for a while so okay cool cool we're, we're good we're good we don't have to do nothing in relation to the firmware so far in relation to trying to up the power because it's achieving the peak output as to what i know the m510 is capable of so Yeah, the dropper, if you're swapping that out. Uh, regrettably, I can't get too, too low into the bike. 